Alrighty, we are nearing the end of Unit 2 Web Design in Code HS. Uh, in Coach many classes is our Unit 4 Advanced HTML, but if you chose the beginner level to do a little bit of remediation, you are almost done with one of the two units. Uh, this is put us at Lesson 10. Uh, you have a quiz after that, and then you would need to complete Unit 3, uh, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 lessons and a quiz. So you're uh, getting near the end. So we did styling last, so let's jump into HTML colors. As always, you're expected to watch the video on your own, take notes if needed, look through the examples. So we're going to jump into this first exercise, create your own color. So that's where I'm going to begin Alrighty, so it says make a web page that tells a little bit about yourself. You should have an H1 tag that says your name. You should have a paragraph tag that describes something about you. Then create three HTML inline. So it wants us to do inline styling, even though um, I prefer to keep things neat with uh, external CSS file or internal. We will follow the directions here. So one rule should set the background color of the body. One rule should set the background color of H1. Use the color picker to get a hexadecimal value. I will have to look and see how to do that. Um, this one is RGB. So I'm going to do a Google search for the hexadecimal. I'll explain why in a second. Um, so, all right, let's get started. So all about me inside the body. So we want to go ahead and give it inline style. So let's do style equals quote background color and let's do a light blue actually let's change things up let's do black uh it's halloween time so we'll do some black and another fun color i have in mind here so inside the body tag you're, you're put stuff about yourself so i'm going to have a h1 And I'm going to put my first and last name. I'm going to do an inline style. So I'll do style equals. This is going to be the text color. I'm going to do a quick Google search. PJ hex code red. And most public universities that have colors, this is a thing in business. So this is officially uh, Georgia Bulldogs red. And it gives me the My Perfect Color Match RGB. It gives me the RGB values and the hex code. So I'm going to use the hex code here. I'm just copying that. I'm going to paste that there. And then I'm going to have a paragraph. equals color and now I'm going to do RGB I'm going to have three values but I'm going to see if it'll let me get by with doing 186 12 47 alrighty Alrighty, I'm in my teaching. Business To a career in education all these are in education I do not regret uh, 
decision to pay the teacher. Okay. So a little bit about me. I'm going to go to output, refresh. Okay, so I'm going to see if I get credit for using the RGB, even though it's the same color. So if so, all right, we're good to go. All right, and uh, before I submit and continue, just uh, most of the time you can just use the color name. Um, the RGB, that is amounts of red, green, and blue light. So you can do Google searches to get RGB values to find the perfect shade you're looking for. Um, these ranges from 0 to 255, so it's a quite the extensive palette to choose from. Alrighty, so that finishes that exercise. So we're going to submit and continue. All right, next we're going to start looking at gradients, which is pretty cool. So we can see it kind of scaled down. So this assignment says, you know by now that digital colors are represented as a mixture of red, green, and blue. We just talked about that. We can represent these mixtures in hex as a six-digit number. For example, the color AB1077 has AB red. So that gets into number systems. Um, hexadecimal actually is a base 16 number system. So you have digits 0 through 9 and then A through F. So if you want to think of it this way, A would represent a value of 10, B a value of 11. Um, but it still takes up one spot in the six digit code um anyway all right so in the first block h1 tags text is colored equal amounts of red green and blue this creates gray each successive decreases the amount of color used you can see that it creates a darker and darker colors um so white is ff all f's black is all zeros all righty, so if you take computer science principles, we do a whole lesson on this, which is pretty cool. So I'd encourage you, if you're into art, colors, digital design, um, we'll do more in the second level course with all of that. Okay, your job is to create a blue gradient. The first color should be all right, nine F. Remember the hex F is the hot largest. Okay, so let's just kind of jump in. The second color is eight. So it's basically just dropping everything down. So... If I look at my output, I've got that first color. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and copy and paste this hex code. I don't need anything other than that. Well, it's already done for me. This will be easier to probably just type it and then to change it. So I'm going to do the hash to say I'm going to do a hex code. And then I'm going to go 8888EE. And then the next one is going to be a hashtag 7777BD. And you should see the pattern by now. Hashtag 6666CC. Hashtag 5555BB. And the last one, hashtag four 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 a a and if i reset i should see that gradient go from lighter to darker all right and we are done there all right light bulb moment just kind of a resource uh, again you can read this on your own i'm not going to go through it uh, but it does show you a color wheel and how you can pick a color uh, again you can google these kind of slide through uh, so some pretty cool stuff you can do with it uh, but again take time look at this resource uh, for the sake of the video i'm not going to it should be pretty straightforward if you have questions on it let me know um, that color wheel is pretty cool all right this uh next one is the last exercise here so This table, style of this table of Isaac Newton's discoveries. You, it tells me what to use for the header row, then alternate the colors. Okay, so I'm going to go into each row, and I'm going to do a style. And... I'm wondering if this wants the background colors or the text colors. I will assume background colors. So I'll do style equals. 
background color. And again, there would be a much easier way to do this that we didn't need it to called zebra striping that we could do. Um, but I digress. Okay, so I'm going to copy that code. All right, and then for the next row, I'm going to go inside the opening TR. I'm going to paste that. But the I'll use this code. Instead. All right, and then I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste that into every remaining row. Because this is alternating. That'll save me some time. Okay, so going back up to the first one, we have the 9CA. I'm going to alternate with the A81. So every other row, I'm going to paste that in. So I'm going to leave the 9C. This next one should be an A8. Alrighty, and let's go to output. And there we go. All right, so we've got our header color already. Alrighty, so that concludes all of the exercises in Unit 2. So you are expected to take this uh, Structuring Websites quiz, uh, do the best you can on it. And after doing that, you are done with Unit 2. You then need to move on to Unit 3, which is learning or remediating a little bit of CSS.